Red and Ash, never in the same place at once, never together, completely separate universes, right? What if that wasn't true? <laughs> Today's theory was sent and researched by a fan named Fearis Silver, and they stated Red began his journey long after Ash, implying that it is the same universe. So let's roll with it. Before I start, I just want everyone to know, for the most part, this is a fan-made theory, so please take it for what it's worth. So sit down, turn on the power, and press start to begin. There are several reasons why Ash and Red may have shared the same universe, some more compelling than others, but the point that needs to be stressed is that it was way after Ash that Red started his journey. This is first shown in the number of Pokeballs that were used in Panther. When's the last time you saw a Great Ball, Ultra Ball, or Master Ball? Think about it. Ash had never used these variations because they were still in development. Aside the obscure custom balls, it seems that those just weren't in circulation as much as they were in Red's era. When Ash confronted several gym leaders in Kanto, they were in possession of unevolved forms of Pokemon that Red would later face. Sabrina's Kadabra became an Alakazam, and Erica's Gloom and Weeping Bell both evolved, and many of the Pokemon are just outright the same, along with the gym leaders. Brock has Geodude and Onyx, Misty has Staryu and Starmie, Lieutenant Surge has Raichu, along with several others. Not only that, when the gym is destroyed on Cinnabar Island, it is later relocated to another location just like in the anime with Ash. Let's not forget, due to Ash not defeating Giovanni, the Earth Gym was still around when Red had to go get his final gym back. The similarities are compelling. Ash never defeating Giovanni means that Team Rocket was still very active in the Kanto area. This can be shown with the Team Rocket takeover of Silco and the Pokemon Tower. This left Red to deal with Team Rocket as Ash was unable to destroy the organization. Not only did the gym leaders have the similar Pokemon, but evolved forms as well, and they themselves also look the same. Blaine is a bald man that wears glasses. Giovanni is a businessman in a suit. Lieutenant Zerg, a tall man in BDU. Now, the healing became much more advanced in Red's time, which is why it only takes seconds to restore the lost energy of Pokemon, instead of the lengthy time it took during Ash's era. With another theory I did, I speculated that Professor Oak had just forgotten about Ash due to his mental state, or Alzheimer's, or potentially something to do with time travel. Regardless though, that is potentially the reason why Red never learns about Ash. Perhaps 20 years pass, and things change a lot. People don't age as quickly in that world, so the people may have remained virtually the same. And finally, Gary Oak looks an awful similar to Blue Oak. Harry's the same name and was a great Pokemon trainer and professor. Perhaps Gary died from a Pokemon attack, or perhaps Gary is Samuel Oak. It is assumed that Professor Oak is Samuel Oak from the movie with Celebi. But what if he is actually Gary Oak and his son is Blue Oak? And what if Red's father was Ash Ketch. Professor Oak's first name is never said in Red's era, so anything is possible. They looked the same, both were professors, and both were champions once. Hmm, for now, I think I'll leave you with that comment section. I hope you enjoyed this fan-made theory. I added a few things here or there, but overall, I found it to be very fun to discuss. But Proto, are you running out of ideas? But Proto, what about my theory? But Proto, Ash wears his hat backwards, and Red doesn't! Yeah comment section. I have tons of theories written down. This one was well researched and written. And hats are game changers. But that's for another time. I've been your host, Proto Mario. Please like and share my work and leave a comment below for your own theory. Thanks for watching and I'm signing out. Good gaming and God bless. Please note that in all my videos, if I use images from Google, that I do not own any of those images, and all images attained from Google are owned by their respective owners and copyrights. So please remember this when watching my Pokemon theories. And Thanks. now comes the all-important decision of supporting the Maverick Army. Join the Maverick Rebellion today. Subscribe and become a Maverick. We are a tight-knit community who desire to change the gaming stereotype into something better. Together, we will revolutionize the world of gaming and the way gaming is viewed on YouTube and across all platforms. Mavericks unite. 
subscribe today, and become a maverick with us. I'm Proto Mario, and I approve this message.